Hacking computers is a super cool fantasy, but contrary to movies, the other medias like video games and board games haven't really captured the feeling of being a hacker really well. But the game we're gonna see today breaks that logic. Hi, my name is Nick and we are Tabletop Duo. Today we're gonna be doing a preview of Hackativity, which is a game from Acolyte Games and it's on Kickstarter till June 16th, 2022. We received the preview copy last week and we were really excited to try it out. Shout out to Stefan Vachon, the board game designer of Hackativity. Thanks, man. In Hackativity, you and your friends are members of the agency, an underground organization that's fighting a new type of virus that's starting to infect the internet. All the hacking is done via the interface board, which is super cool. It's divided in three sections, the alert, the antivirus and the critical sections and they're covered with a thick acrylic layer. Your objective is to destroy all the anomalies in the critical section, and you do so by playing them on the antivirus interface, and then you use your character ability cards to chip their health and then destroy them. Each character has unique ability cards that create a nice synergy between themselves. Talking about the characters, so you have Blast, which is about using software to duplicate programs, Artemis can target several anomalies at the same time, Cyberlink can create chains that will affect the nearby anomalies, and Dr. Power has a new nicking plant that allows him to execute programs by spending power. Abilities have a top and a bottom section, and you play them according to the effect you want. Some, the, sometimes like the top one will be weak and the bottom one will be strong, and then you discard them on the cards that correspond to the top and, or to the bottom symbols. Characters have firewall layers, which are represented by this card, and they decrease if anomalies are activated. So you have to be careful not to decrease it to zero, otherwise it's game over. Anomalies are basically your health. As you use your abilities, you have to be as stealthy as possible, otherwise the system will detect you and then dispatch new threats that you're gonna have to deal with. And that uh, stealth system is done via the alert interface. Each character ability you play may increase or decrease your alert. If the alert cube goes beyond 7, an alert card is added to your anomaly deck and you have to deal with it. Besides the anomalies, as you progress through the scenarios, you will face other threats like cores, which have attack cards and they are quite powerful. The narrative is also unraveled by playing the scenarios contained on the scenario book, which is this one. The scenarios also have their own victory conditions and they come with their own deck of cards, which introduces new elements to the game. A nice add-on to the scenarios is the fact that they come also with instructions in case you want to increase their difficulty and they are replayable since the anomaly decks are built from a random pick of cards. What makes you feel in this game that you're a hacker is the combination of destroying anomalies, managing multiple of them and also keeping a low profile on the internet. I feel each scenario we introduce new characteristics, making each one of them really interesting and building up to more complex mechanics. The preview version we received already demonstrates that from what we've seen by playing the scenarios 1 and 2, which are the ones that came here on the preview. I also like the character synergy that the ability cards bring and the fact that each character abilities are unique. It really feels like you are hacking and you want to get to the bottom of the story and understand where the viruses are coming from and who released it. I have not seen a board game that plays this fantasy as well as Hacktivity, while keeping the gameplay simple and also not too abstract. On the contrary, this game creates a very nice context that's easy to understand and very good looking as well. Hackativity can be played from 1 to 4 players and each play session takes around an hour if you're playing with 4 players. I will leave the link to the Kickstarter campaign in the description box below and you should definitely check it out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.